Welcome to the next Lubuntu screencast and in this screencast it's all about audio again and this time it's a really cool player it's called Dead Beef and it's a FUBAR 2000 clone so to say and yeah well let's first of all try to install it it's a little bit different from the usual installation as we need to first um, add in PPA repository go to the menu choose preferences software sources then go to the other software tab and then add simply this PPA here I will put this uh, data here also on the website so that you can easily then copy it over and hit OK uh, relaunch or reload the list perhaps you need also to download the key the authent authentication key and import it and then you go to Synaptic oops, Synaptic you search for DeadBeef and you simply install DeadBeef and DeadBeef plugins dev and right after this you can find DeadBeef on the menu, sound and video DeadBeef and this is the normal interface how it looks like it starts very very fast and it looks very very clean and cool and nice you can first of all import things to your playlist here just by clicking on file add folder for example adding my music folder here and as you can see it loads pretty much very fast and yeah I can start playback easily by clicking double clicking as you can see the progress bar here can see the volume control here I can skip this track go to the next track as you can see I have turned on shuffle so it will shuffle through the playlist or can turn it off go to linear and I also have the option to go to the properties here and show my AD3 tags for this file can also edit them very easily see some other properties here and I have also the option to set some preferences and this is really cool I have of course obligatory here the preference for the output plugin I can choose between ALSA, OSS or Pulse Audio I have some advanced options this is really cool I can choose the sample rate conver conversation quality to sync fastest or sync best quality or linear or zero auto hold if I want to. I can choose the replaying gain mode by track or by album. I can also allow dynamic sample rate switching which, which is all also very handy sometimes. Then I have some GUI options here like choosing the different colors for, for the progress bar here and for, for the volume control. Um, middle mouse button can close playlist if I want to or close minimize is to tray only so if you want to have this player in the background then I have some network settings as it can also if you click on file you will normally uh, I need to close the preference so you can add a location so enter an URL here and then listen to your favorite music stream online of course as well so therefore you have the networking settings for enable proxying then we have the tag writer options so we can enable here some different uh, mp3 or ape or wave pack um, id tags and set the version number for example or the character encoding then we have some additional plugins and there are some cool nice plugins here like the sid decoder pulse audio output plugin MPEG decoder standard GTK user interface so it, uh, can have another user interface maybe if someone writes a plugin for this you have um, album artwork here also so you can easily fetch from last.fm album art org or from a local folder the album art of your file and besides the plugin you have also the option to set global keys here uh, for, for playback for example for, for pause or, s or what else you want so I think this is a really cool player 
And one thing I want to show you is the equalizer that looks very cool here. Let's go to full screen. It looks very cool and it can also not only import or load pre uh, presets from uh, the DeadBeef uh, uh, equalizer preset file but also from FUBAR 2000. So if you have some presets from FUBAR 2000 you can easily import them here into this very easy. So this is basically Dead Beef. I think it's a very cool player. For everyone who likes FUBAR 2000 you should try Dead Beef on Lubuntu 10.04. So this is everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.